in great ways the Creator is waking us all up and calling us in our names to find inside of our own vehicles, inside of our own bodies that are holy chariots for the divine spirit, for the divine soul. We are being called to observe and to look deep inside and to find an inner endless spring of wisdom ancient from early days of Kedem, from the most ancient time that is linking and connecting us to beyond time. The Creator gave the world into our hearts for us to desire, for us to fall in that trap, to have the challenge and the test, to have something to distract us from the source of our living. And it's an enormous test. It's a gigantic, overwhelming test. Because think about it, a device that works on electricity will definitely gonna understand that he needs to be plugged if he has life because that's his source of energy but he became so distracted that he does not find his inner connection anymore so we are like that like a fish that swims in the water the food is coming and being supplied to him through the water the oxygen the air is coming through the water his friends are swimming in the water his stability everything that he's enjoying from his protection his life is from the water but he is not aware of their existence he looks and search for water for friends for for place to hide he's not thinking about the water the water are something that is for granted in his mind he does not seek for the water this is how we are all surrounded with godliness and we're not aware of it that the maker is sending all of our needs and he is the water that surrounds us like the verse is saying Yerushalayim harim savivla Jerusalem is surrounded with mountains Vashem Saviv Lamo and Hashem is surrounding his people exactly in the same way. Surrounding us, filling us from within. He is inside of us and wrapping us from outside. And he is the source of our living. And we are not aware almost of his existence. We're so distracted. We're all the time being called with our senses, with our feelings, with our thoughts, to sounds, to smells, to, to vibes, to energies, to all sorts of distractions that are calling us to lose our inner focus to our souls, that they are the gates of heaven. When you're looking outside to the world, you can see so many details, but you cannot see a thing. But when you close your eyes and you focus on your own simple soul and you just breathe and you just think and focusing your mind on Hashem, you can nullify yourself completely to Him, to become one with Him, to be united with Him in his oneness and if a person is doing it enough meditating and thinking and breathing and focusing his mind in Hashem he becomes one with him in a way that cannot be separated anymore you become one with Hashem and Hashem is one with you this is what the children of Yaakov said when they told Yaakov their father Shema Israel. Listen, our Father Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Hashem, that you believe in Him, He is our God as well. Adonai Echad, we believe that He is one. When Yaakov heard that, he answered them, Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Leolam Vaed. Blessed is His kingship forever and evermore. 
because Yaakov realized that they were right, that their faith was complete in Hashem, the one that he believed in. Our faith in Hashem is in the unity of Hashem, that all the details, that all the particles of creation are all rising and being all included in His oneness. And there is nothing but Him in the existence, in the universe, in the creation. He is infinity that is surrounding and including all details within. And we can be only part of Him always. Nullifying ourselves to Him is like a drop of water in the heart of the ocean. Even though you are one with the ocean, you're still a very small drop that is finding its way and has much more to search and to reveal. The inner connection to the Maker is the endless gate to infinity, to the Garden of Eden, to the protected and preserved source of goodness. The complete that never been touched, never been ruined, never been spoiled. To the ancient time of Kedem, to the early days that are longer than days of creation, than the six days of Genesis of creation. To the one day that was long, to the one complete eternal day that was the complete expression of His godliness. Through your soul, you can connect that time that is beyond time, place that is beyond place. Only by observing deep into your soul, closing our eyes and focusing on the fact that we have a soul, that we are the soul, and that that soul is a godly portion from above. Chelek Eloha Mimal, the Creator Himself constricted, cut Himself into portions, so to speak, and put those godly portions into our chariots, into our bodies. Ki chelek Adonai Amo, Yaakov Chevel Nachalato. The inherit of Hashem is Yaakov and his children. The share of Hashem is his people. Chelek Adonai Amo, the share of Hashem is his people, is the Chelek Eloa Mimal, is the portion of godliness that is from above. It's the godly soul that is treasured within us. When you touch it with your little finger, you become one with the Almighty in a way that can never be separated anymore. May Hashem grant you and bless you all to feel that godliness, to know its truthfulness, and to sense the importance of working on that inner connection on daily basis through prayer, simple conversation with our Maker, with our eyes closed, in a holy meditation, in an inner connection to the Maker that is based on truth, on love, good intentions of honesty and kindness, and all aspects of goodness that our souls are blessed with. May we and all our loved ones become one with Hashem and never gonna separate ourselves from Him, even for a moment. Amen. Can you hear that song?